Izzy's Tarot, thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you so much. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel, and I am for that. I am very, very grateful. I am actually doing a heart, a partner heart space reading for Leo in honor of February being Valentine's Month. I am going to see Leo, your partner's heart space for you. What is their love for you? What is their heart space for you at this moment in time? This can, is a general reading. It's not for everyone, but it will hit some people. Um, if you just listen, take the time to listen to it. Let me tell you, tell the story. I'm going to do a five card spread first. Then I'm going to lay five more cards on top of the five cards. Give me five to seven minutes and I promise you I'll tell you a story. If you could, if you could also please subscribe to my channel. Just take the time. Hit the little lady down there below. We greatly appreciate it. I would really, really appreciate that. I promise you won't be disappointed. I, I, I will always give you readings every week. I will always come intuitively through the cards, what they tell me, and I will tell you. Um, I will also co always come from my heart space. It will be for your for your higher good. So let's see. Please just don't forget, like I said, if you could, just subscribe to my channel. For that, I will be greatly appreciated. Uh, I, will, I, would, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. This is a heart space reading for um, Leo's partner. A heart space reading for Leo's partner. Leo, why does your partner love you? Why at this point in time, what's going on? What are you doing to them that makes them fall in love with you? Thank you, Spirit Guys, for the information you're going to give me for Leos. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the information you're going to give me so that they can help them on their love journey. Thank you so much. Heart Space Reading for Leo's partner. Let's see, Leo's. Why does your partner love you? Why are they what's in their heart space for you? Oh, they have you have the chariot. Could be a cancer person. Three of Cups, Five of Wands, Tower, Nine of Cups, Well, I see this. This is kind of a, a interesting reading because I see at the very beginning that they love you because you are go, 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 go. You are definitely one of those people. You like to be out and about. You like to party. You like to do your thing because you have the three of cups right there next to it. Three of cups is definitely doing being out and about and doing your thing and uh, being about it as far as um, the world is concerned. Um, so they definitely love that about you, about you being um, that type of person, um, the type of person that is... Um, on the go and it's interesting to them you're interesting to them they love that about you you're not the same old same old all the time they also like the fact that you don't you stand on your you, you don't care you don't have a problem by telling them how you feel or you know if, if you feel like something's not going right you will tell them because that five of wands is like conflict so you don't have a problem with conflict that's not a problem for you um also then you have the tower so something has happened in this relationship, perhaps they told you something and you guys broke up or you guys, everything just blew up. But look, you have the nine of cups. You came back, Leo. You came back. Or either they came to get you because you had conflict here. You had the tower, which means it blew up everything um, that um, you guys originally had. The whole situation, or maybe it was a situation that just blew up. And then you have the Nine of Cups. And Nine of Cups to me is one of the best cards because Nine of Cups means you have still have one more cup to offer. And that last cup that you have to offer, that's the cup that you can mold this relationship with or mold your relationship with. You already have joy. You're full of joy and you have goodness here. But something happened and we're going to see. I'm going to clarify here what happened, what the relationship blew up. Maybe like I said, you guys had a conflict here. It blew up, but then you guys you, uh, got back together. So let's see. You have four pentacles over the chariot. You have king of cups over the three, three of cups. You have star over the five of wands show me about this tower why is this tower here 
You have Hierophant over the tower. And you have Lovers over the Nine of Cups. So, with the Chariot, this was all go. <laughs> Let's look at this. Because with the Chariot, this was all go. You had stability here with the Four of Pentacles um, coming up. Um, everything was moving and everything was great. All good. All, all cylinders go. Then you had the Three of Cups where you were out and about. They like the fact that you're out and about. And they like the fact that you're a King of Cups. You have emotions um, that you give to them. They like the fact that you show your emotions to them. Even though it can be um, a little cool sometimes, you try not to go overboard with it. Um, you have controlled emotions, but still they know that those emotions are there and it provides them a sense of stability. Then you have the five of wands. Like I said, you guys had something, um, maybe you had a big argument, maybe you had an argument. It's something that happened here. And then because you have the star, which is hope. The star is hope. And that's also an Aquarius card too. But you had something here that, that um, caused a conflict. But then uh, on top of that, you have hope. So they like the fact that perhaps, uh, 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 Leo, you just didn't walk away from it. You, you still, they, you know, they still saw hope in this whole situation. So then you have the tower, which means that something blew up. Maybe after this situation with the five of wands, the whole relationship blew up. Maybe because it needed to blow up and start afresh. Because when you look at things, you have the hierophant. And that could be a Taurus person as well. But the hierophant also means marriage. Um, so after all of this mess that happened here, came the hierophant. So maybe this needed to happen for you to get on one accord with them. Then you have the Nine of Cups. And on top of the Nine of Cups, man, you have the Lovers. Man, you got a lot of um, Major Arcana here. You have Cancer, you have Taurus, you have Aquarius, and you have Gemini. So you have the Lovers on top of there as well. And so whatever happened here with the Tower, it led you to a stronger relationship with the possibilities of possibly being together for a lifetime with the marriage. Because you have the Nine of Cups here. And then you have the lovers here. And the lovers means it's a choice to be. And like I said with here before, the tower, um, you, you made the choice to be with this person after the tower. They love that about you. You still made the choice to be with them. Maybe you guys broke up, but you still made the choice to come back. And now look where you are with the nine of cups and with the lovers there. I mean, it's harmony, it's peace, it's love, it's goodness. So you made the choice to be with this person. You made the choice and they love that about you, that you did choose them. You made that choice with that lover's card there. And it's all good. Everything is good. That's why they love you. 